Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter <laughs> TV. And we're very pleased to be joined today by Carl Lander of Armacher Robotics to discuss this innovative company's new biofouling clearing solution for ships. Um, so Armok Robotics is looking to revolutionize in-water ship cleaning through a proactive cleaning model via subscription, basically using a small autonomous robot or series of robots to get onto a ship's hull frequently. Uh, frequently is going to be dependent on the ship's operations, what kind of water conditions, the condition of its coating system, a lot of high, high variables, but we're looking you know, every four to six weeks, something in that range for being on there, making sure the biofouling never gets beyond a, an early stage, never more than slime. What specifically, how do you see the full, how do you see this playing into the entire uh, decarbonization discussion? Uh, well, I think this is uh, a proactive cleaning approach is critical to the decarbonization uh, effort, both in terms of helping reaching the current goals and then making the future solutions really sustainable. Um, I think the importance of a clean hull, I think, is a little bit underappreciated as it comes towards decarbonization. There can be anywhere between a 5 to 20% fuel savings and commensurate carbon reduction by keeping a constantly clean hull. Um, what is a clean hull? I think that's a big question for the industry as well. We know that a barnacle covered ship is a dirty hull. But between the time it's freshly cleaned, it doesn't just all of a sudden become barnacle covered. There's a progression of slime. That slime matters. And the sooner we can deal with it, the more often you're dealing with a completely clean hull, the better your performance is going to be. Obviously for a fossil fuel powered ship, that's going to mean reduced carbon. Every other solution out there currently is going to require more expensive, more complex fuels either that need to be produced, however the, met the methods are for keeping them on the ship, et cetera. If we can reduce fuel consumption of those long term, that's still beneficial to the industry. So again, while you're still a new name, a relatively new name in the industry, can you just give us an update of where you're at today? Yeah, absolutely. So Armok Robotics is a new name to the industry. I've only been around for about a year now, but we're building on about 15 years of growth from our sister company, Green Sea Systems, that Ben Kinneman founded originally. And then once we started got getting involved through the US Navy to develop the autonomy software from the Green Sea perspective. I was with Green Sea before coming to Armok, so I would use the we a little bit interchangeably there. Um, and yeah, so I worked with Ben for the past you know, five plus years. And so we spun off Armok to commercialize the technology that Green Sea had started developing, not seeing another partner out there initially in industry. So we said, let's do it ourselves as a spin-off uh, entity. And so uh, we're in our, you know, instead of you know, wrapping up our first year as an independent entity, uh, we're actively looking for early adopters. We do have uh, fieldable uh, vehicles for cleaning. We're actually, we do have a, a system getting ready to deploy as we speak right now back in the US um, for some early trials um, to really prove out the value of this system. We know we can clean hulls. We're just looking for these early adopters to help us prove out the value of a proactive approach of keeping that hull clean through frequent and habitual cleanings. Okay, well, Carl, it's always a pleasure to catch up with you, and I look forward to following the company as it evolves in the future. I really appreciate the opportunity, and we look forward to great things and being back here in a couple of years with uh, showing some significant company growth and not biofouling growth. Excellent. Have a great day. Thank you. All right.